oh my gosh, I am drinking tea whilst Kit is making tea. This is, this is like Sims real life crossover right now. Hello everyone, it's Stella here obviously and hello from New York. Right now I'm actually in New York City or maybe Boston. I think I'm in New York by this stage. But anyway, this is obviously pre-recorded part. Uh, if you guys wanna keep up with my travels, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Deligracy. And yeah, you can see what I'm up to in the current time. But in any case, I hope you guys enjoy this new part of Let's Play The Sims 4 Teen Runaway Challenge. I'm excited because today is Kit's first ever Winterfest slash Christmas. So we're going to throw a little soiree with Kit's new friends and uh, see what happens. So without further ado, get your tea, get relaxed, get ready and let's play some sims yay all right so i know my face cam hello over here is kind of in an awkward spot but i wanted you guys to be able to see what's happening on winterfest and what we're kind of fulfilling but anyway kit is in the kitchen with some winterfest music on getting a grand meal ready it looks like viv has arrived and having a little bit of a boogie, love that. I also did a little bit of collecting off camera during the day and I got some new crystals, which I thought looked kind of nice and festive on the table. Uh, I found one more My Sim trophy and Kit's actually been a little bit inspired by the other girls' fashion and got themselves a crop top. So that's kind of a little bit more risque, I think for Kit, but um, it's a little bit of fun. And it looks like Cassandra is here as well. They're all in their party clothes and they're all looking pretty good. So we're gonna do some gift giving, have a grand meal and having a grand meal isn't a tradition that Kit typically as a teen would enjoy. But I think because they are a special teen, they should enjoy this because they've never had a Christmas dinner before. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Renee has just gotten into our vegetable dumplings. No worries. And it looks like we've got a cup of coffee here. But it's nice. I love seeing all the girls hanging out together. It kind of reminds me of a Christmas catch up I do with my girlfriends um, around Christmas time. We do it every year. So this is nice. Okay. Is everyone ready for this grand meal? Uh, let's call everyone in. Oh, is Kit going to set the table? I think Kit is setting the table. So we've got uh, some burgundy placemats. Keep in mind everything Kit is now getting seems to be something that is more salvaged. We went with kind of just a modern aesthetic to begin with because we didn't have a lot of money, but now that we have a bit more money, we're actually able to get some of these unique looking chairs that look like they could have been found from a secondhand store or something like that. So I'm glad we're able to give Kit's home a little bit more character. All right, everyone, come get some grand meal. I'm gonna pretend that we actually uh, caught this fish <laughs> for everyone whilst we were out today. And in terms of our collections, uh, I will just show you guys, we have got a lot of frogs. And I realized if you breed your frogs together, each time I've bred them, I've discovered a new frog. So I'm not sure if you get a new frog by default every time you breed them, but that seems to be working for me. So I'm not sure if we're gonna finish the frogs first or the My Sim statues. My Sim statues, we only have five more to get. And unfortunately there's two rares we need to get. So that's a bit tricky. Uh, and then three commons. So I don't know, I'll just keep looking off camera because we need to do that in order to finish the next milestone of our aspiration. But how nice is this? We could have actually invited Alexander Goth because there was an extra table place. Oh. <gasps> Santa's here! Oh, oh, oh. Or Father Winter, as they say. Let's do a friendly introduction and oh, invite boy. Father. Oh my gosh. I I'm loving the I'm loving the look and feel. Father Winter of the red beard. Very, very on brand. Very Christmassy red with the dreads. Who said Santa can't have dreadlocks? Love it. <laughs> so maybe as a surprise, Kit's friends invited Father Winter to come to dinner so they could see what Father Winter is like. So maybe we could share conspiracy theories with Father Winter, uh, give a winter fest gift. I would like to ask for a present. I mean, I'm not forgetting about the fact that we do need a little bit more money <laughs> to expand our place. That, that would be great. Let's see what Father Winter gives us. Kids like for me? What is Kit gonna get? What did we get? What did we get? I'm so excited. We got a Baconite. Oh, that's awesome. Is that, that is really cool. We got one of the stones. Do we already have one of these? I really hope we don't have one of these already. 
Well, let's um, send to the Geo Council anyway. So if we don't have it, we can put it into our little thingamabobamajig over here. And what else do we want to fulfill? We would like to actually open presents. Okay, so maybe we should do... Wait, what's happening? What's wrong? We're feeling tense. Oh, we're tired. Oh, wow. We're actually a lot more tired than I thought we would be. Uh, let's see. Let's do gifts. Wait, where is the present pile we put under here? I did a present pile. I think the present pile might have glitched out because I can't see our presents. But what we can do is give our friends some gifts. Maybe some of the frogs were found. I'm actually going to breed a frog though and see if we get a new kind of frog. Uh, so let's see. Oh yeah, we have bred a new frog. Wait, does it mean bred a new frog as in a new frog or like a new kind of frog? Maybe I've been getting excited for no reason. Oh my gosh, you can't leave yet. Viv? No, 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 no. We have to give you like a special gift. Let's give you one of our spotted frogs. Don't leave, Viv. What? Viv, you're crazy. Viv is, was, is officially crazy wanting to go for a run. Oh my gosh. And Cassandra's out here as well. I guess we're going to do some gifts. Why did we just get an evil, an evil bad rep thing? I don't know. But how cute is this? Kit is giving her friends all frogs for Christmas. We love collecting things. And Kit thinks frogs are so cool. And the girls are probably like, oh, thanks, Kit. But they love that she's a little bit kooky, a little bit different. And Cassandra obviously really appreciates that. So maybe we should sing about Winterfest. What? Why did that just become uncomfortable? Cassandra? Oh my gosh, Kit is singing to Cassandra. Kit is trying so hard to get Cassandra's attention. Oh my lord. And Kit uh, does want to talk to a plant and harvest a plant. So Kit also, before I started filming, had, or maybe it was yesterday, had a whim to make out with Cassandra. And I was thinking, oh, this is so perfect. But now Kit's chickened out. We'll just compliment Cassandra's appearance, which is what we always do, because we are always too scared to actually make any moves. <sighs> I mean, there is romance there. The friendship has gone up as well. It was really awkward. Should we reveal our crush? I don't know. I'm too scared to, you guys. I'm just going to compliment appearance again, because that's all that we do. Also, Kit did finish this snowman out the front of their place. Okay, we are really, really tired now. And let's give our last friend a gift. Uh, give Winterfest gift. The Dirt Whirl Frog. I'm going to put this in here. Well, at least Cassandra's cleaning up for us. That's nice of her. Okay, I'm just going to clean all of these. This music's really cool. It's like, Dobby. <laughs> And we're definitely not giving any My Sim trophies because we're trying to collect those. It would actually be really nice if our friends gave us a My Sim trophy. I would love that. Actually, I just realized if we put presents under the tree, we can open the presents with everyone. And then we will actually be given some presents, which maybe someone would give us the My Sim trophies we've been looking for. Oh no, there's not enough room. Seriously? Please guys, make room. Okay, I know it's not ideal, but I put the presents outside. You know, it's nice to be out in the fresh air, even though we might be blown away. <laughs> so at least everyone can get to the gifts and we can start opening them. Oh, Santa just left. Okay, I know Kit's about to pass out, but we should at least try and make the most of this tradition while we can. What did we get? We received a digital camera. Okay, can we sneak a present? See me so we can't open another present. That's really cool though. We can take a photo with Cassandra. <laughs> oh, golly gee. Oh, golly gee. And then I, I really think we are about to pass out, so we should go to sleep soon. Yay! Oh my gosh. Oh, wow, that's really zoomed in. Yay! How nice! Kit got a camera. I love it. We'll have to take a few photos because knowing the Sims, they always mess them up and those little gnomes get into the picture frame. Oh my gosh, why are you being flirty with us? Do you think we should try and embrace? Let's just do another compliment appearance again. I'm just too scared to do anything else because all of the other interactions are so... 
risky. We could reveal our crush a little bit, but I think even that's that's difficult. Let's see if we can embrace. If we can embrace, I mean, it's Christmas. Surely, Cassandra. Ah! Okay. 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 That uh, that that happened. That um, okay. Uh, what happens? Flirt can always go wrong. Oh my gosh, it's a Christmas miracle and we're about to pass out. Are you kidding me? I want to go somewhere else where we're not like in front of all the other girls. This is so awkward. Oh my gosh, we could have our first kiss on Christmas. Oh, we've got to go to sleep though. We're so exhausted. I mean, that would have meant so much to Kit to even get a hug and be embraced like that. I mean, Kit would never have gotten hugs growing up, so it's a big deal. But we're taking things really, really slowly. So I'm just gonna fast forward this and the girls will leave when they wanna leave. But what a successful Winterfest. Winterfest was awesome. Kit had a wonderful time and got to do everything that they planned to do. Yay, that's nice. And the girls are literally staying the whole night. I guess it's pretty cool that their friend has their own place when they're a teenager. So they could just hang out there without any parents. And it's nice that they all came over when they probably had celebrations with their parents to do. Okay, they're literally staying here the whole night. Like, it, I think it's time to leave, ladies. Okay, it is the morning. Mail has been delivered. Have the girls left? They did finally leave. I thought they would never leave. I guess they were just having too much fun at Kit's place, which is nice. We love it when everyone is happy to be here. And we might leave the Christmas decorations up for a little bit longer. But you know what? If Christmas is over, it means that winter is kind of going to end soon. I really hope. Yeah, day 12 of 14, which is so exciting because I'm so ready for spring. <laughs> I really dislike this the, the snow in the game. It, I feel sad or something. Anyway, let's just go around and do a really quick um, super style and then we'll have some leftovers for breakfast and gear to the toilet. <gasps> no, you guys, I think Cowie died. Oh, no. What? Wait, wait. Is Cowie dead? Is Cowie frozen? Why is Cowie frozen? Oh no, Cowie was just playing dead. Thank goodness, I thought Cowie might have actually been dead and I was really freaking out for a second there because you guys know how much Cowie means to me. Uh, let's super sell these. Patchy's just doing a little bit of gardening, but I'm so glad we did grow this garden because it really is our bread and butter. This is how we're surviving at this point. Are we making millions of simoleons? No, we are not, but we're making some money. Not to mention, I think a lot of these plants will be alive again soon. Or a few of them, half of them will be. So I guess it's a help. Ooh, can we evolve this? Can we evolve? Yay! So let's get the mail and see what's in it. I really hope that we got some new um, things to put up here and we can put up our photos. It's the first time we've ever had pictures to put on the wall. Okay, I think we just need one picture. That's fine. And we'll add a frame. Oh, this is so sweet. I'm, I'm so excited for Kit. Okay, so we have two lots of thingamabobs to add to this, hopefully. One, two. Oh my gosh. I've never filled this up before, so I get really excited about it. And let's breed a frog. I don't, I'm pretty sure these frogs aren't breeding to make new frogs. No, they're just breeding new frogs. I thought new frog meant a new kind of frog. <sighs> and Kit's definitely not gonna pay to replace these things. Kit's all about, you know, doing things yourself. We've reached level two of the handiness skill. Love that for you. So let's go to the bathroom and maybe let's dig up. Oh, Kit is too uncomfortable to dig. Why are you so uncomfortable? Stuffed up from illness. Oh no, well I know how to cure that. I might take down the Christmas tree, which I know is gonna upset a lot of you, um, but I do need to make a little bit more room in the kitchen if we're going to get a tea maker because tea makers actually do help with, um, with colds. And do we actually have a fire alarm? 
I don't know if we ever got one, did we? Safety first kit. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we do have an alarm there. I'm gonna paint this and I'm actually gonna get rid of this Winterfest speaker because I just, I don't really wanna play winter music all the time. And let's brew a pot of some tea that will make us feel better, like healthy green tea. Healthy green tea might make us feel a little bit better. Oh look, is that Alexander Goth? Oh my gosh. I am drinking tea whilst Kit is making tea. This is this is like Sims real life crossover right now. I'm shooketh. <laughs> okay, the tea's ready. Now this I think should make us feel better because we do have chicken pox. Oh no. It's probably because we never hang out with people and now that we finally have hung out with people, we get sick because we're like, oh my gosh, people have cooties. <laughs> oh. Okay, it looks like it's helped a little bit. Laura, and yeah, tea Laura. makes me go to the toilet as well. Grab another cup though, grab another cup. Uh oh, we're gonna pee ourselves. Okay, maybe go to the toilet. Okay, I'll admit we didn't quite make it to the toilet. I was too focused on my tea remedy to, uh, to let Kit do that thing. And now Kit's really embarrassed. Also, why aren't these flowering anymore? Oh, I think I super sold them. It says it's like a strawberry dragon fruit and snap dragon, but we haven't actually got any dragon fruit yet. So I'm kind of like wondering what the go is with that. Oh my gosh, kid's so embarrassed. Don't, don't cry in front of the mirror. Come on, have a shower. Once you hop off the horse, you gotta hop. Wait, once you fall off the horse, you gotta hop on again. Am I right? I'm right. Okay, and grab a drink of this. Now, what did we actually, did we actually get anything from digging that fossil up? I don't think we did. I don't even remember. What is this? Let's put all of that. See, we're feeling all better again because we stayed inside. When you go outside, we didn't get cold. Sometimes simple home remedies are the best medicine. Uh-huh, that's right. Kit's just gonna do a little bit of work on the rocket ship because that's something that we're aiming towards. And oh, Cassandra just invited us to a party at a nightclub. I mean, sure, we can go to a nightclub. I feel like we're probably underage to go to a nightclub, but maybe that's the point. <gasps> this could actually be our moment to make a move on Cassandra, for real. Like this could be the moment where we can dig deep into our soul and be like, yes, we have the confidence to do this. Uh, so let's uh, plan to unleash the gerbils. I don't know, let's just do a heartfelt compliment. <laughs> Bright and day, and let's go inside into the club. This chick is crazy. How old are you? Are you a teen? No, young adult. I'm pretty sure we're not meant to be here. Kids manners is in range to earn the good manners trait. That's pretty impressive when you've brought yourself up. Uh, okay. I guess we could dance together. Something tells me that Kit would feel so uncomfortable and so overwhelmed at a nightclub. I really don't think this would be Kit's kind of place. Like, I feel like Kit would feel really paranoid and stressed about being here with adults. So I'm just gonna go ahead and and just say, can we go somewhere else? Because this is not this is not Kit's place. I mean, Kit would rather go for a nice little romantic walk out to here. So maybe let's go over here together. Because I just know that's not Kit's style. So maybe we can uh, compliment appearance as we always do. <laughs> and do a little flirt and see what happens. Um, and maybe Kit can say, look, there's something I've been wanting to tell you. Uh, I haven't really known how to tell you. Maybe let's embrace and be like, I'm so glad I met you tonight. Thank you, thank you for inviting me. Uh, and maybe reveal our crush that Cassandra is our crush. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, Cassandra actually is kissing us! Cassandra's kissing us! Oh my gosh! I actually thought this might not happen, but Cassandra seems to feel the same way. Oh my gosh, and she's saying that she's pretty tired. Kit, what are you doing? Kit's, Kit's so happy, Kit's running to make a snow angel. Kit's like, this is the best day of my life. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, Kit. <laughs> Kit's so sweet. Uh, Kit, maybe you would like to, uh, I don't know if you should have just bailed just then. Where'd Cassandra go? Okay, I think Cassandra left. But that is so cute. Kit had their first kiss. Oh my gosh. Oh, Kit is feeling so happy. Kit ran all the way home. 
and uh, that was that was the most exciting night ever. So we did kind of just bail on Cassandra. I guess Cassandra said that she was tired anyway, so it's not so bad. But oh look, kids are happy. They're probably like dreaming of being with Cassandra now and one day living together and traveling to the alien planet together. Kids like. We could collect crystals and rocks and my sims and have a joint my sims collection. I think it's gonna have very happy dreams tonight. So we'll resume in the morning. I'm gonna dig up this fossil straight away because I really wanna find out if there is a my sim trophy in here. I really, really wanna finish this aspiration. <laughs> Do we get something? Yes, this might be a my sim trophy. Please be a my sim trophy. Oh, oh. Oh, I think this is one we don't have. I think that, is that a new one? I don't think we had that one. Yes! Oh, that is awesome. It means we only have four left to get. Hell yeah, Kit. Good job. Okay, let's uh, let's put this My Sim Trophy in our collection shelves down here. We're slowly running out of space. We have so many frogs. I feel like we can sell these other two frogs, okay? Uh, all right, and we need to feed Cowie, so let's feed Cowie. If we milk Cowie, we don't get any money from the essence, so there's not really any point. We've actually got a lot of money saved up now too, which is good to see. So let's super sell these. And we still haven't finished writing our book or the rocket, but all of that's taking time bit by bit. That's why I really, really want a money tree so we can, you know, start making money in a big way, hopefully, without having to put in that much effort. Like we, once you've got the plant there and planted, then you just have to, ooh, New Eve is tomorrow. Then you just have to um, keep harvesting it and it's nice and easy. Oh, oh, we got some options over here. Let's look for frogs and we'll also dig this up. Okay, I found another thing over here. It looks like we just got a crystal, which, oh. I mean, crystals are great, but we didn't get a my sim trophy, which is what I want us to get. Uh, did we even get anything just then? Oh, oh, we got a treasure map. That's great news because that means that we can nominate to dig up a, um, a my sim trophy. I just want to get all of these trophies. I'm addicted. So here's another rock that we can dig for treasure. Okay, let's see what we get, Kit. Let's get us something good. Ooh. Please be a my sim trophy. I mean, it's obviously going to be a my sim trophy, <laughs> but please be one that we don't have already. So let's open up the capsule. A violet. Oh, 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 that's a rare one, you guys. Violets are really, really rare. Um, or oh, a rare, there's no such thing as really, really rare. But violet was one of the rare ones we needed to find. So the only other rare one is this one and two common ones. So I'm wondering if the treasure maps actually help you find rare my sims. I reckon they do, because I'm pretty sure I found the other rare ones from the treasure maps too. And that would kind of make the treasure map a lot more worthwhile than getting just the common ones. Or even if the treasure map helps you find the my sims that you don't have. Oh, Kit's making some sausages, some singers. All right, well, I think I might leave this part right here. I'm not sure if this will have been a shorter episode, but <laughs> I'm gonna leave it right here and off camera, I'm going to keep looking for those My Sim trophies. And in the next part, it's going to be New Year's Eve. And I was thinking maybe that's when we try and make our relationship with Cassandra official and hopefully Cassandra will also want that. So make sure you watch the next part and give this part a big thumbs up if you have been enjoying it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and my channel and subscribe and, and the comments and the time and I don't know what that was. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to speak to you soon. So, so.